Praise the Lord. Tonight is your night. A night of transformation. A night of miracle. A night of divine touch. You know, the theme is transforming touch from or by the unchangeable Christ. <clears throat> and tonight, the Lord will touch your life. He will turn your life around for the better. Father, we thank you today. We bless your name for your glory, for your power, for your nature. Thank you for your love. Thank you for everything you've done in Christ. And for what you are going to do today through Christ for everyone. We're asking, Lord, that nobody will miss your power today. Nobody will miss your salvation today. I will pray that that redeeming touch will come to everyone. Confirm your mercy and compassion on everyone. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. God has blessed you. You can sit down. Tonight we are looking at an important story event in the New Testament. When Christ came to this world, he changed everything. He touched everything. He transformed everything. And he's still the same today. The word of God assures us Jesus Christ the same Jesus, our savior the same Jesus, our redeemer the same jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever Jesus, and because it's still the same what he did years ago he still does today he manifests his love. He manifests his mercy. He manifests his compassion on everyone without partiality. That's why tonight you are there for him. And that's why tonight he's here for you. He will touch your heart. He'll touch your life. He'll touch your family. He will do the impossible in every life. We're looking at Mark chapter 1. And I'm reading from verse 40. And there came a leper to him. And there came a leper to Christ. Beseeching him. Begging him. Praying to him. Asking him and kneeling down to him and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. It's a story of a leper. Maybe you don't understand. Leprosy at that time was incurable. And even for thousands of years now, from that time until that, until this time, thousands of years, leprosy is still incurable. And this leper came to Christ, knowing something, believing something. That God can do the undoable. 
that Christ can kill the incurable. That the power of the Lord, that the virtue of the Lord, that the healing promise of the Lord comes to everyone, heals everyone, saves everyone, delivers everyone. So the leper came unto him. He didn't go to any other person around. He didn't look to any other person around. He looked unto Christ and he besought Christ. He pleaded with Christ. He prayed to Christ that he will be healed. And kneeling down, he worshipped him. He worshipped him as Lord. He worshipped him as God. He worshipped him as the one that came from heaven to earth to be a blessing to everyone. Saying unto him, If thou wilt, if you want, if you desire, you can make me clean. And I shall come as a leper tonight. At the incurable tonight, that you will do the undoable in your life. It will take away the heavy load you couldn't take away by yourself. And you bend the knee before him. And you bend your heart before him. And you worship him. And you turn away from everything. And you turn away from everyone. And you say, Lord, I know you will. I know you can. And I know you will do it for me today. If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And I was told in verse 41. In verse 41, Jesus moved with compassion. That's the reason he saves us. He's full of compassion. That's the reason he heals us. He's full of compassion. That's the reason he delivers us. He's full of compassion. And his compassion will never fail. And his mercy will never fail. And the authority of his touch. The healing in his touch. The salvation in his touch. Will never fail. And Jesus moved with compassion. Put forth his hand. And touched him and touched him like he will touch you tonight like he will touch your soul tonight that he'll touch your body tonight because he's still the same what he did before he's going to do today this leper is just a sample a representative representing you representing everyone and he's pointing at you and he says see what he did for me and look at what he will do for you he had compassion on me he will have compassion on you he will have mercy on you and the mercy of the Lord will forgive your sin. And the mercy of the Lord will save your soul. And the mercy of the Lord, the compassion of the Lord will heal your body. And Jesus put him forth, his hand touched him. And says, I will. He never says, I won't. 
He never says, I can't. He never says, I don't want to. He always says, I will. And he tells you tonight, concerning your soul, I will save you. And he tells you tonight, concerning your sickness, I will heal you. And he tells you tonight, concerning the oppression in your life, the bondage in your life, the captivity in your life, and the mental problem in your life, the incurable disease in your body. He never says, I want, he says, I will. Be thou clean. He tells you tonight, with a touch, a touch from heaven, a touch from the Savior, a touch from the Lord, I will be thou saved. I will be thou clean. I will be thou healed. I will be thou delivered. And that will will touch your life tonight and touch your life, turn your life around. We're looking at it tonight, divine redemptive touch for incurable seekers. The seekers who come to the Lord, they know by natural means they are incurable. They know by personal effort they are incurable. They know by history what had happened to others. They know they cannot save themselves. If you come to the Lord, and you know in your heart, you cannot heal yourself. You cannot deliver yourself. You cannot save yourself. And you are seeking from the Lord. That he will heal you and deliver you and save you. Is that it is at that time the divine redemptive touch will come upon your life. It's divine, not human. It's coming from heaven, not from earth. Divine. Coming only from Christ. Because Christ is the only name by which we are saved. The only power by which we are delivered. The only name by which transformation comes to us. It is divine. It is redemptive. He redeems us. He changes our lives. He transforms our lives. He makes us to be different from what we were before. He takes that incurable. He removes that incurable. He makes you to have a total transformation. And the old life goes away completely. That's what we call redemption. That's what we call transformation. That's what we call a divine change that comes upon your life. It does it by one touch. One single touch. One single cleansing. One single utterance. One touch, one word, you are saved. One touch, one word, you are healed. 
One touch, one word, you are delivered. And that incurable situation, that impossible situation is turned around for the better. Divine redemptive touch for incurable seekers. We're looking at three things, one, two, three, and we're done. Number one, the corruption and the cogitations of all incurable lepers. There was corruption in the flesh that was from the inside. And from the inside to the outside, you have the corruption of the incurable leper. And then there were cogitations, that means the thoughts of his mind. I was imagining, how will I live? Where will I go? How can the incurable disease may be totally removed? The corruption brought the sinking, the cogitation of that incurable leper. Number two, his contemplation and conversion from an insensitive life. Leprosy deadens the feeling on the flesh. You can use a pin to pinch him insensitive. The contemplation, what he thought he was going to do. And a conversion and the change and the transformation of that insensitive life. As you think about your life, and you're thinking, what will I do? I will go to Christ, and Christ will touch me. Christ will transform me. And it's seeing I couldn't accomplish myself, I know Christ will accomplish. The healing I couldn't do for myself, Christ will do it. The salvation I couldn't have by myself. The new life I couldn't have by myself. Christ will do it tonight. The contemplation and the conversion from an insensitive life. Number three is the compassion and the cure by the impartial Lord. Lord over every situation in life. Lord over every person alive. Lord over every sickness in man. And he is impartial. The impartial Lord. He did it for that leper. He will do it for this life. He will do it in your life. The compassion and the cure by the impartial Lord. Look at number one there. It's the corruption and the cogitations of all incurable lepers. When we talk of lepers, in Israel there was a practice. There was a law compulsory for every leper. And it tells us that when a leper was coming, it will cover his lips 
He'll keep on shouting unclean, unclean. So that everyone hearing that will make way for him. There was no association. There was no interaction with a leper. His, um, his sickness, corruption was contagious. Because other people can catch that, that's why he wasn't allowed to mix with people. It's like sin. It's like your sin. Your sin is contagious. Your lying is contagious. Your evil is contagious. Your stealing is contagious. Your sin has an evil influence on other people. That's why I was thinking. Am I going to continue like this forever? Separated from man, separated from God. Sin separates us from God. Are you going to continue like that forever? That your sin will separate you from God, both here on earth and all through eternity. But that's why the cogitations of his heart troubled him. In Daniel chapter 7 verse 28. Daniel chapter 7. Daniel chapter 7 verse 28. Either to is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my cogitations much troubled me. My cogitations much troubled me. That's for everyone on earth. The cogitations of your life, the thoughts of your life because of your sin must trouble you. Your corruption that separates you from God and from good people must trouble you. Your corruption that is increasing every day must trouble you. And that leper, that was his condition. The cogitations of my heart much troubled me. That's why I was thinking, what will I do? Where will I go? Who will change my life? Who will save my soul? Who will heal my leprosy? And then he said, and my countenance changed in me. And the countenance of a corrupt person will change in him. The sinner is sad. The sinner is sorrowful. The sinner feels the loneliness. The sinner feels the judgment of God coming. Because God is angry with the wicked every day. He knows if he dies in that condition. Forever he'll be lost. The leper knew that if there was no cleansing, he'll be separated from society until death. The sinner knows if he's not cleansed, if he's not saved, if he's not forgiven, he'll be separated from God, he'll be separated from everything good, he'll be separated from earth, on earth and in heaven from God. Le péché, 
de se réjouir, il sera séparé d'avec Dieu et des bonnes choses pour l'éternité. That's why the thought of that leper brought him to Christ. C'est pourquoi les pensées de ce leper l'ont conduit. That's why the thought of your heart must bring you to Christ tonight. C'est pourquoi les pensées de ton cœur doivent te conduire à Christ ce soir. He said, but I kept the matter in my heart. The leper had nobody to discuss it with. He kept it in his heart. But he knew I must do something. And you must do something today. So that your life will be turned around by the hand of the Lord. But what are you going to do? I'll try and turn over a new leaf. I'll try and become better. I'll try and make personal effort. Isaiah chapter 64, we're looking at verse 6. But we all are an unclean thing. Remember the leper, unclean, unclean. And it says we all are like that as an unclean sin. For the sinner, the thoughts are unclean. The language, the words are unclean. What he looks at, what she looks at, unclean. How he dresses, how she dresses, unclean. What he drinks, unclean. What he smokes, unclean. No doubt, like that leper, we are all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousnesses as filthy rags. And we all do fade away as a leaf. And our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. That's the reason we come to the Lord. We cannot make the change by ourselves. Only Christ the Savior. Only Christ our Lord. Only Christ our Redeemer can so touch us and turn us and transform us. Before we meet Christ, we are unclean. Before we meet Christ, we are like spiritual lepers. Before we meet Christ, we are unqualified lepers. We cannot get to heaven by ourselves. But Christ is the bridge between us and heaven. Christ is the bridge between the leper and a clean life. Christ is the bridge between the sinner and the saved soul. Christ is a bridge between you and uh, heaven. And tonight you come to Christ. Tonight you call on Christ. Tonight you kneel before Christ. Tonight you receive him as your Lord and Savior. And tonight you ask him for that touch divine touch redemptive touch a transforming touch tonight salvation comes I said tonight salvation comes tonight healing comes tonight the cure comes for the incurable look at number two Number two is the contemplation and conversion from 
an insensitive life. I told you, maybe you know yourself, that leprosy makes the skin insensitive. Whatever cuts the skin, it does not feel it. Whatever harm or hurt comes on the skin, it does not feel it. Leprosy makes the people insensitive. It just like sin. People commit sin. People do wrong. And they don't feel it. They don't sense it. It, is, it makes them insensitive. Can you imagine a man, a woman, a boy, a girl that goes through life insensitive? In Ephesians chapter 4, reading there from verse 18, that's what he tells us about the sinner. It says, having their understanding darkened, being alienated, separated from the life of God through ignorance that is in them. Because of the blindness of their heart. That says a lot about everyone in the world. About every leper in the world. About every sinner in the world. They do evil. If anybody happens to point it out. They say what? I didn't know that was wrong. They steal. I don't know that was wrong. I was hungry. I needed money. And so I took that thing. They are insensitive. And they do all sorts of evil things. They might go to another person's wife and have the inordinate, unacceptable, illicit pleasure of the flesh. And they say, was it wrong? We were in agreement. She gave the consent. And I wanted it. They are insensitive. They might go to a lady. An unmarried lady. And they have the sinful, illicit, illegal pleasures of the flesh. Challenge them. They say, is that wrong? They were just enjoying themselves. They might, the man might drink and be a drunkard. And you challenge him. See what alcohol has made of you. Insensitive, was that wrong? The fellow is smoking. And already the smoking is giving him cancer. And you challenge him. You say that is what is killing you. They say, is that wrong? They are insensitive. That's like the leper. It's only when you come to Christ. When you truly come to Christ. That the Lord will cleanse you. After that cleansing, you become sensitive. Show me anyone that says I'm saved. I'm saved. Show me anyone that claims salvation 
and he's telling a lie are you challenging him <laughs> oh he says i didn't know but i'm saved show me a man show me a woman i'm saved still committing fornication and adultery and you say look at this oh he said but i'm saved the, if you have not been sensitive of what you do no matter how long you claim salvation you are not saved yet salvation makes us sensitive it talks of the people who are not saved like the leper having their understanding darkened being separated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart that's what the lord will change tonight somebody there he said somebody there i'm saying somebody there i am saying that is what the lord will change tonight look at verse 19 in verse 19 who will be past feeling past feeling without feeling <clears throat> who seen without feeling the pricking in their heart <clears throat> who seen without having any conviction in their heart they are without feeling they've gone beyond feeling who being past feeling have given themselves given themselves given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work to perform to practice all uncleanness with greediness that's why the leper came to the lord i can't change my life he can change me i cannot cleanse myself he will cleanse me i cannot turn my life around by myself he will transform me that's why you are coming to the lord tonight that's why you're coming and praying tonight that's why you're turning from darkness to light tonight that's why you bring yourself wholeheartedly unto the lord tonight because he is the one that will change you that can change you and it will change you tonight it will touch your life tonight it will transform you tonight when you come to christ such a change happens to you that you'll say what i used to do i do them no more what i used to drink i drink that no more what I used to smoke, I smoke that no more. Where I used to go in the night, I go there no more. Something happened when Christ touched me. It tells us in Isaiah chapter 1, reading there in verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 says come now and let us reason together says the Lord 
Come now. Why do you come? Because the Savior is the only one that can save you. Why are you coming tonight? Because Christ is a Savior. And he's the only one that can save you. Why are you coming tonight? Because Christ is the only one that can make you clean. And you clean. And you desire to be clean. And you are passionate for cleansing. I'll say, I need cleansing. And you come like the leper. If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And he wills. And he desires. That's why he came from heaven. To make you clean. It will cleanse your heart. It cleanse your language. It cleanse your appearance. It cleanse your whole complete personality. That's why he says, Come now. Don't say, I'll make it tomorrow. We don't know what will happen between now and tomorrow. I will pretend today, but tomorrow I'll be sincere. You don't know what will happen between now and tomorrow. You need salvation. It's now. You need cleansing. It's now. You need transformation. It's now. You need a change of life. It is now. Come now. And when you come, you leave your leprosy behind. When you come, you leave your sin behind. When you come, you leave the adultery fornication behind. When you come, you leave your darkness behind. Come now. You are coming out of darkness to light. Come now. You are leaving sin behind. You are coming to the Savior. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. What are we reasoning together with the Lord? All the sacrifices of the Old Testament, they have not cleansed you, they have not cleansed me. Reason together with the Lord. All the yearly resolution. I will not do that. I will not do that. I will not do that. Receive with the Lord. All the resolutions have not saved us. I will turn over a new leaf. All the promises you give to yourself. I will. I will. I will change. All that. Receive with the Lord has not changed you. The leper might say, I'll take a new kind of soap. And if I wash with a different soap, I will be clean. He had tried that. He was not cleansed. You cannot be cleansed any other way. You cannot be saved any other way. This is the way. What he in it. Come and let us reason together, says the Lord. Salvation is only in Christ. Cleansing is only in Christ. Transformation is only in Christ. And as you come to him, and you say, Lord, cleanse me. Forgive me. Save me. Change my life. It will change your life tonight. Then it says, it tells us, it says, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. 
tonight is your night of salvation. Tonight is your night of forgiveness. Tonight is the night of your freedom. Look at verse 19. If ye be willing and obedient, what does that mean? It says, Come. If you be willing and obedient and you come, it says, Turn away from darkness and come to the light. If you be willing and obedient and you come out of darkness to the light. It says, repent you from your past life. Push away your past life. Separate from your past life. And then come and have intimate relationship with Christ the Savior. If you be willing and obedient. If you be ready and obedient. If you be truthful in that repentance, if you truly yield your heart and you turn your mind away from your past life and you come to the Lord, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. And you will have the goodness of the Lord. Tonight you will have forgiveness. Tonight you will have salvation. Tonight you will have healing. Amen. Tonight you will have a miracle. Tonight you are going to have the good desires of your heart in Jesus' name. If ye be willing. If ye be willing. You must be willing to leave the sin partner. You must be willing to leave the boy sinful partner, the girl sinful partner. It is that willingness that will show you are repenting. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Look at verse 20. But if you refuse and rebel, all I need is healing. I don't want salvation. If you refuse and rebel, all I want is you know, a new friend. I don't want to leave all my old sinful partners. If you refuse and rebel, Refusal is rebellion. When you refuse to, re to repent, it's rebellion. It says calm. When you refuse to come, you're rebelling against the God of heaven. When you refuse to leave all the corruption, all the evil, you're rebelling against God. If you die a rebel, you cannot live with God forever in heaven. If you refuse to repent and God looks at you as a rebel, you cannot go to heaven only hell will be available for you to live forever. And hell is not for 10 years, it's not for 100 years, it's not for 1,000 years, it's more. It's forever and ever.
If you refuse and rebel, you shall be devout for the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Tonight you will not refuse. Tonight you will not rebel. Come, come now. And let us reason together, says the Lord. Do your sins be as scarlet? They shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as white as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, he shall have, he shall possess, he shall experience, he shall have the good of the land. Look at number three now. Number three is the compassion and the cure of our impartial Lord. In Mark chapter 1, verse 41. Mark chapter 1, verse 41. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand and touched him. One touch, leprosy will vanish away. One touch, the incurable will be cured. One touch, the sensitive will become sensitive. One touch, unrighteousness will vanish away. And righteousness will come. Jesus moved with compassion. His compassion saves. His compassion forgives. His compassion delivers. His compassion transforms. His compassion delivers and transforms your life. And tonight, he will have compassion on you. I said tonight, you'll have compassion on you. It says he was moved with compassion. And he put forth his son and touched him. He touched the person that beseeched him. The person that prayed unto him. The person that came unto him. Those are the people Christ touches. Those are the people Christ has compassion on. The people who come like the leper came. The people who kneel, who surrender themselves unto Christ, like that man surrendered himself to Christ. Those are the people he has compassion on. The people who make Christ the sole and the only Savior of their lives. Those are the people it transforms. They don't only just come the crusade and then after they come to the crusade, they go back and the same lies go back with them. The same deception goes back with them. The same adultery fornication goes back with them. The same old lies goes back with them and the same evil that they have done in the old sinful life goes back with them those ones have not been touched by the lord the people who are touched by the lord they leave the old life there they leave the old fornication there they leave the old adultery there they leave the old leprosy there and now they're new and they're clean La 
tromperie, mais cela que Dieu touche, il laisse leur vie passer ici à la croisade. And he touched him and said unto him, I will be thou clean. In your life, I will and be thou clean. He changed life. I will and be thou clean. He transformed life. I will and be thou transformed. That's what he will do for you tonight. I say that's what he will do for you tonight. You come with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and your faith in Christ, and lean on him and know he is able. He'll do it for me. Matthew chapter 14, we're looking at verse 14. Compassion. That's the compassion that heals. That's the compassion that delivers. That's the compassion that transforms our lives. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude. And he was moved with compassion toward them. And he healed their sick. He was moved with compassion toward all of them and he healed their sick. Healing is coming to you tonight. He will cleanse every skin disease tonight by his compassion. He will open your blind eyes tonight. By his compassion, he will unstop your deaf ears and he will loosen your dumb tongue tonight. By his compassion, he will make the lame to rise up and walk tonight. He was moved with compassion toward them. And he healed their sick. Your time has come. My time has come. Where are you? My time has come. My time has come. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22. In Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. His compassions fail not. Today, where you are there, his compassion will not fail. That compassion will forgive you. That compassion will heal you. That compassion will set you free. Today. Tonight. Right now. Who is coming for the compassion of the Lord? Who is going to receive the compassion of the Lord? By his mercy. By his grace. By his love by his compassion that's how forgiveness comes that's how healing comes that's how salvation comes that's how deliverance comes he had compassion on him and touched him and said I will be thou cleansed you are the man of the hour you are the woman of the hour. The leper is just a representative to show us that what he has done for him, he will do for you. Forgiveness. Amen. Salvation. 
Amen. Amen. Deliverance. Amen. Amen. Healing. Amen. Amen. Miracle. Amen. Amen. This is your time. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. You're willing, you're ready. You're obedient, you want to come to Christ. You want to leave darkness behind. You want to come to the light of the salvation of the Lord. You want to leave every evil scene of the past. And truly you repent and you turn. And you want to receive Jesus as your personal savior. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. In all sincerity. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. In all honesty. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. With a willing mind, a decisive mind. You raise up your hand. I want forgiveness. I want salvation. I want transformation. I want a new life. If you be willing, if you be ready and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. As you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. Willing, stand up. Ready, stand up. Honest, stand up. Sincere, stand up. Your past is going. A new life is coming. You raise up your hand and you stand up. If you raised up your hand before, but your life did not change. You now want to do it sincerely, wholeheartedly. What you want is real salvation that changes your life. The Lord is waiting for you. Stand up. While you are standing up, tell the Lord, I forsake my past life. I forsake my old life. I forsake my corruption. I forsake all my evil deeds. Then tell the Lord, I cannot save myself. Christ, I come to you to forgive me to set me free to transform my life I surrender completely into your hands I surrender without reservation into your hands I surrender without looking back I surrender my life into the hands of Christ. Lord, save me. Save me. Tell him, tell him. Save me. And he saves you right now. Keep on standing. Keep your hand up. Your salvation has now come. Amen. 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 Father, Père, in the mighty name of Jesus, au nom de Jésus, your compassion will never fail. Tes sont your love will never fail. Your grace, your mercies will never fail. All those who come to you in sincerity, Touch their lives and touch their hearts right now. Forgive them and cleanse them from their past old life. 
Let there be true transformation in their lives now in Jesus' name. Cleanse them. Forgive them. Save them. Transform their lives. Thank you, Lord. You are the impartial Lord. We know you do it now. You make it evident in every life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Keep on standing. Uh, coordinating, moderating overseer, welcome and lead us during this period. Don't sit down until your name has been reaching on the card and you submit the card back to our counselors. Counselors, get closer to our beloved. Prenez les informations. Collect the informations. Come right visibly, please. Donc, prenez les informations. S'il y a une référence, par exemple, pour l'école, une clinique, que vous pouvez ajouter à l'adresse pour mieux identifier. If you take the uh, information, if there is any reference like a school or any medical center that you can write, it will be good to include it. This information is to help you afterward. To continue in your work with the Lord. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. The launch hour with Jesus. For all those who have taken decision. Tomorrow, behind the stand. 3 p.m. you have the launch hour. The lunch hour with Jesus. Don't miss it, please. Very important. Very important. In that lunch hour, there will be many items to help you in your walk with Jesus. Be reassured, afterwards, the man of God is coming to pray for you. And you will see what you have never seen in your life. A definite touch. All those following through the radio, television, or YouTube, you have numbers that be on the screen. You have the link. You fill in the questions that will be asked there. And the people will take over your spiritual concerns. Don't mix to click on that link below the bar of your screen. Or the numbers that are below the screen. Take those numbers and send forward your informations. 
Counselors Evolving So those who have given their life and they are following us, you fill the format there. You click on that link appearing on your screen. You have some questions. You fill them and you send them forward all to assist you. Je répète encore, nous aurons demain à 15 heures. Tomorrow, I repeat again, by 3 p.m. avec Jésus. Pour tous ceux qui viennent de prendre la décision de suivre Jésus. We have the launch hour with Jesus, all those who have just taken the decision to follow the Lord. A very important appointment for you. Counselors, on my left hand side, are you done? In the middle? Continue. Si vous avez terminé, vous faites monter votre drapeau pour me signifier que vous avez fini. If you are done, please may you lift up your flag to signify that you are over. Prenez soin de ce que vous êtes en train de faire. Be careful with what you are doing. Des questions. So don't allow any other important information. On my right hand side, the flag is lifted up. God bless you. Here in the middle. On my left hand side. God bless you. Okay, yeah, in the middle is good. And there, behind, that's good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The hour has come. I said the hour has come. And you are still seated. And unforgettable touch in your life. Not Praise the Lord. The Lord will touch you. His compassion will never fail. His touch will come upon your life. All your sicknesses will take away. If you're sick and you want healing, lay one hand where you have the sickness. Raise up the other hand as we pray. The mercy of the Lord will touch you. The compassion of the Lord will touch you. Those blind eyes will be opened. The dumb tongue will speak out. The deaf ears will hear. The pain in your life, in your body will vanish away. Miracle for the incurable. They will do it right now. 
as you hear the name of Jesus that name is sufficient to take all your infirmities and impotence away and when the final amen comes the miracle has arrived we're ready to pray now raise up one hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge Father, we thank you for your compassion, love, and mercy. That compassion will never fail. And we'll bring everyone before you right now. There'll be a divine healing, miracle, walking touch in every life, even now, in Jesus' name. Lord, for everyone without exception, you are the impartial healing God. Compassionately touch everyone, heal everyone in Jesus' name. Literally from the top of the head to the tip of the toe, heal your people completely in Jesus' name. In the authority of the name of Jesus, I command those demonic spirits, evil spirit, madness, I pray and I command, come out in Jesus' name. I decree in your life and I pronounce your healing be healed in Jesus name every swelling in any part of your body I command that swelling come out in Jesus name issue of blood in your body I command that issue of blood dry up now in Jesus name I pray for the dump I pray for the for the dead I pray Lord they will hear now they will speak forth clearly without any impairment in Jesus name Those blind eyes, the dim eyesight, I command, be opened and see clearly now in Jesus' name. Incurable leprosy be healed in Jesus' name. Incurable cancer be healed in Jesus' name. I pray that your joint, every pain in your joint will vanish away in Jesus' name. Those who are lame, those who are paralyzed, I command, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. short leg grow out in Jesus name with that hand be healed in Jesus name
every healing you need, you have now. Every miracle you need, you have now. Deliverance you have now. To my left, to my right, to the front, to the back, everywhere, receive your miracle. On online, on the television, radio, everywhere, receive your miracle. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Your miracle is there right now. Just look at the place you had the problem before. It's gone. Look at that. It's gone. Blind eyes is they are open. Speak to the deaf, the dumb, they will hear their speak. Demonstrate your miracle. 